ഹായ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് എല്ലാവർക്കും ബിനി മാജിക് ഗ്രാമിൻ്റെ മറ്റൊരു എപ്പിസോഡിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം സോ വാട്ട് വി ആർ ലുക്കിംഗ് ടുഡേ ഇയേഴ്സ് കേരള ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് റീഡർ ക്ലാസ് എയ്റ്റ് യൂണിറ്റ് ടു വിങ്സ് ആൻഡ് വീൽസ് ആൻഡ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ടു ഫ്രം എ റെയിൽവേ കാരി സോ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ലുക്ക് ദ കേരള ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് റീഡർ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് യൂണിറ്റ് ടു ചാപ്റ്റർ ടു ഫ്രം എ റെയിൽവേ കാരേജ് okay let us go to the poem in this poem uh, the poet r l stevenson shares his experience of a railway journey so in this poem the poet r l stevenson shares his experience in a railway journey so this poem is divided into two parts first part contains eight Uh, lines and the second part also contains eight lines so the first part deals with the speed of the train and the second part deals with what the boy sees from the railway carriage or through the window of the train so i told you that this is an interesting tra- uh, train journey uh, who is explaining the poet himself is explaining in the first eight lines the poet tells about what tells about the uh, tells about what tells about the speed of the train and this in the second part that is in the second uh, part of the poem he tells about what he sees through the uh, window of the railway carriage so let us go through the poem faster than fairies faster than witches bridges and houses hedges and ditches and charging along like troops in a battle all through the meadows the horses and cattle all of the sides of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain and ever again in the wink of an eye painted stations whistle by so i told you that in the first eight lines the poet tells about what tells about the speed of the train how the train is moving the train is moving faster than fairies and faster than witches fairies meaning angels witches meaning witches meaning witches are also uh, creatures having magical powers uh, so നമ്മൾ എന്താ മന്ത്രവാദിനി അല്ലെ ക്ഷി എന്നൊക്കെ പറയും ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് കാൾഡ് വിച്ച് സോ ദ റൈറ്റർ ഈസ് ടെല്ലിങ് ദാറ്റ് ദ ട്രെയിൻ ഈസ് മൂവിംഗ് ഫാസ്റ്റർ ദാൻ ഫേറീസ് ആൻഡ് ഫാസ്റ്റർ ദാൻ വിച്ചസ് സോ ദ ട്രെയിൻ ഈസ് മൂവിംഗ് ത്രൂ എ വില്ലേജ് ആൻഡ് ദ ബ്രിഡ്ജസ് ഹൗസസ് ഹെഡ്ജസ് ഡിച്ചസ് മെഡോസ് ഹോസസ് കാറ്റിൽ എക്സെട്ര ആർ ദ common sights from the train and to show the amazing speed of the train the poet uses the expressions like faster than fairies faster than witches so when you go in a train or uh, i think that you have all experienced the pleasure of a train journey so nammala train lude yatra cheyumbol nammala bridges um hedges um ditches um houses ella valare fast aayitte back like move move cheyindayitte we all feel that so in order to show the speed of the train the poet uses the expressions like one faster than fairies faster than witches then again one more thing one more fly as thick as driving rain rain drops when it is heavy rain we cannot count that rain drops so to express the speed of the train the poet uses two things faster than fairies faster than witches and at the same time fly as thick as driving rain in the first part in order to express the fastness of the train the uh, he says faster than fairies and faster than witches then one more thing fly as thick as driving rain once again faster than fairies faster than witches bridges and houses hedges and ditches and charging along like troops in a battle and charging along like so the train is moving like what like the soldiers in a battle i think that you are you have seen um, the uh, soldiers moving in a very regular manner so 
uh, the train is moving like what a soldiers in a battle so and charging along like soldiers in a battle that is an expression of simile all through the meadows the horses and cattle when the train is moving very fast um, the horses cattle etc he can uh, see and they are moving to the back of the train and um, and all of the sides of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain so the train is moving uh, in order to show the speed of the train i told you that the poet uses the expression the train is flying as thick as driving rain that is uh, is also an example of what example of simile and ever again in the wink of an eye what is meant by wink of an eye ima vettana samayam ima vettanayittu etra samayam edukum a fraction of a second it also expresses the movement of the or the fastness of the train so and ever again in the wink of an eye painted stations whistle by when the train moves very fast the stations the stations are going back and when the train is moving very fast everything is going we feel that everything is going very fastly to the back of the train so i think that you have understood the first eight lines of the poem from a railway carriage so let us move to the second part of the poem so i told you that the second part of the poem deals with what deals with the sights the boy sees through the window of the railway uh, carriage okay let us move to the second part of the poem here is a child who clamps and scrambles all by himself and gathering brambles here is a tramp who stands and gazes and here is a green of stringing the daisies here is a cart run away in the road lumping along with man and lord and here is a mill and there is a river each a glimpse and gone for ever so i told you that the second part Uh, of the poem tells about what all things the boy or the poet is seeing from the railway carriage so here what all things first one uh, he sees a child who clamps and scrambles clamper meaning clamper climb using both hands and feet when he looks through the window of the train he sees a boy clamps and scrambles scramble meaning a oru alli pidichu keruga rendu kaiyum rendu kaalum upayogichu alli pidichu keruga he sees a boy like that and what is he doing he is gathering gathering meaning collecting collecting brambles bramble meaning an edible soft fruit mullu ennu arnya nyavel alle blackberry nyavel palam mullu pole ulla chedigalil undaguna karutha palangal appo ee kutti endha cheyindha valare prayasapetta ee mullu pole ulla chedil ingane alli pidicha he is collecting brambles and here is a tramp who stands and gazes who is a tramp tramp meaning a person who travels from place to place in malayalam we say nadodi and he sees a man or a tramp gazes standing and gazing at the train gazing meaning looking at the train and here is a car and after that he sees a string of daisies stringing the daisies meaning the, uh, the daisies daisy meaning a flower a beautiful flower a, the uh, daisies are standing lying in a very orderly manner then here is a cart run away in the road then he sees a cart horse cart running away in the road with man and lord and the poet is saying that it is lumping lumping meaning lumping meaning buddhi mutti because that cart is full of lord and here is a mill and there is a river each a glimpse and gone forever then he sees mill river etc and all these things all these things what happen uh, he he sees only in uh, 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 in a glimpse glimpse meaning or, or 
ഒറ്റ നോട്ടം മാത്രമേ അല്ല ഒറ്റ കാഴ്ച അല്ലെങ്കിൽ വിങ്ക് ഓഫ് ആൻ ഐ ഇതിൽ മാത്രമേ പോയറ്റിന് ഇതൊക്കെ കാണാനായിട്ട് സാധിക്കുന്നുള്ളൂ വൈ ബിക്കോസ് ദ ട്രെയിനിങ് ഇസ് മൂവിങ് വെരി ഫാസ്റ്റ് അപ്പം ഈ മില്ലും റിവറും ചാമ്പും ബോയ് എല്ലാം ഹി സീസ് ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ഇൻ എ ഗ്ലിംസ് ആൻഡ് ദ സൈഡ്സ് ആർ ഗോയിങ് വെരി ഫാസ്റ്റ് so when i read the poem you understand that uh, you have seen uh, certain sounds which reminds us what the chollum bol namaka what uh, feeling is coming to our mind so this poem comes uh, or makes us think about locomotive rhythm or train journey pole thanneyana ee poem chollumba namaka feel cheyinda so uh, uh, this poem has a locomotive rhythm so with this we have completed the poem and uh, let us move to the exercise of this chapter then we can go to the textual question answers only three questions are here question number 1 does the train move through a village justify your answer the train moves through a village we can see the bridges houses hedges ditches meadows horses uh, cattle etc which are the common scenes of a village then question number 2 what are the expressions used by the poet to show the amazing speed of the train faster than fairies faster than witches then number 2 fly as the cast driving rain number 3 each a glimpse and gone for ever these three expressions are used by the poet to show what to show the amazing speed of the train then move, uh, we can go to question number 3 how does the poet bring out the locomotive rhythm in the poem the words like faster fairies witches Uh, ditches have a repetition of certain sounds which reminds us of the locomotive rhythm so we have completed what the three textual question answers also let us move to the meanings of the words given there first word charge charge meaning attack troops troops meaning soldiers driving blown by the wind with great force clamper clamper meaning climb using both hands and feet scramble scramble meaning a difficult a difficult clamper up or over something bramble bramble is an edible soft fruit then tramp tramp is a person who travels from place to place gaze gaze meaning look steadily lump lump carry a heavy load so with this we have completed the textual question answers and the meanings of the words given in the textbook so with this we have completed the explanation of the poem from a railway carriage by r l stevenson then the textual question answers and the meanings given in the textbook thank you have a nice day